you can actually achieve decent quality. You can go from this to this. So you can see there's a big change, same camera, just messed about with the lighting. That's not the only one I'm gonna show you. I've got an action camera that was terrible with some lighting, it made it usable and also a different type of action camera again as a webcam so you can see a difference there the models will be displayed on screen and also a mixture of lighting techniques like bright and dark and dark theme so let me show you how i'm doing this and what budget it took okay so you would have seen at the start of the video a quick comparison of what we want to achieve we've got cheap cameras we've got a budget we want to get decent quality for live streaming so i set up in a different location where i did a few little playing with cameras and lights i'm also going to be showing you different segments in this video linked in the chapters you'll see a cheap webcam you'll cheap see a cheap action camera and also another action camera which i'm messing about with they're all going to be directly in front of me i'm going to play with lights which are two cheap lights and there's a section for microphones where i'm going to speak into a microphone it's only one really but i'm comparing it against this which i always use and that new mic setup is a budget option and guess what it's nice and easy it plugs in via usb into your computer so you don't have to have any fancy software or cable the samsung microphone which is directly in front of me and the details for the levels are both similar now so now that is the same level. I'm having to turn that up a little bit higher for you to hear me. But let me go back to the Behringer microphone. This is the Behringer microphone. And this is what I'm using right now with the setup. How does it sound? Put some headphones in. Let me know what you think in the description. Budget live stream. This might be a good option because you can power it via USB until you get to a point where you can then power it via XLR. So what I'm going to show you is a few options to use cheap equipment because remember the motto of the channel is you don't need expensive gear. So I basically share a number of different techniques to help you get the best from what you've got and also the best from budget gear. So in terms of live streaming, it's becoming a mainstream thing now. Everybody needs to live stream for something, a meeting or getting parents evening and all sorts of stuff if you're doing it online. Even uh, doctor consultations and stuff happening on uh, streaming. You could use your mobile phone, that's fine. If you've got a laptop, if you've got a desktop computer, a webcam, I'm going to show you a few different scenarios keeping you within the £200 budget. So everything I'm talking about will be linked in the description and you would go to my Amazon shop which looks like this. So you can see... If you scroll down, it will link you straight to the setup, a live stream for under 200. The webcam is here. It's an option for $40. The microphone I have not shown in this video, but I made an overarching video which will show you the microphone. I recommend one microphone and an alternative, which I basically use in all of my setups. If your audio is good, the video will be fine. Got an action camera here as well, which can be used as a webcam. I've kept that in that same budget because a webcam can only be used as a webcam. An action camera you can use for alternative things as well if you need to. I've put a little cheap LED light system here which you can get like a green background in and also the lights that I was using. So you're looking at 50, 50 ish dollars or pounds you can convert that. Uh, 15 dollars pounds and 40. So you're looking at what? Just under 200 there. Is that right? Yes, because you won't buy the action camera and the webcam together. You'll buy one or the other. Okay, so let's start. You can see straight away there, that's just the webcam. So advent webcam on top of the monitor, normal lighting, it's fairly dark. And I think that's gonna be a normal thing. So right now you'll see that difference. What happened there was on my display, I just put a white blank document up. The actual light of the display is illuminating my face a little bit, which you can see, it gives you a little bit of a pop. So the next thing we're going to do is put an actual light on. So on my one side, I've got a light, which I've put on. You'll see it's very bright and different cameras take a bit of time to adjust. So if you're doing this, you can adjust the camera exposure, which I can show you in a second, um, how to set up the different brightness and contrast within the camera options if you're using OBS. Okay, so let's have a look at the configure video option and see if we can adjust the brightness. Let's try auto white balance oh, okay that works so the actual web cams oh there we go brightness works as well brightness contrast okay so on a webcam these additional details for saturation and adjustment of gamma works however on the action cameras as webcam it did not work so you can find the perfect
So you see that we've got two lights, one on either side. The main goal is to illuminate yourself from the background because you're going to be the main person speaking. So you can see there now I'm a bit too bright, but again, the camera hasn't adjusted yet. I've got another section here now. You can see these are better performing. So I'm nicely illuminated in the front. There's a little bit of a glow behind me. And now I've even made it more lower exposure, which actually makes the background darker and me stand out, which allows us to illuminate the background separately. So you'll see now I'm playing with the light, putting it forward and back just to see how it looks. And the color temperature of the light makes a difference on your face. If it's a blue color or an orange color, you'll see how it impacts the face color, which you can see now. And adjust that to your skin tone and see how you'd like it to be. I'm going for like a dark um, theme where I'm basically illuminated myself and I'm speaking, but my background's not too illuminated. You can go the opposite direction and kind of make it all bright, which is an alternative option if you use more lights in a wider spread area. But here I'm keeping the close light. So you can see when your light's off, it's basically pitch black. So that gives us a good starting point. So now that's giving me a bit of a nice color on the face. And now let's go to the background and put some light. So because I had two lights, I left one in the background. It's battery powered. And I put a, if you get folders, you get the clear folder covers. Mine's, I've got a deep red one, which I put on top of the light. And you can see in the background how that illuminates it. So that gives you an option to kind of make the best of cheap lights and get the kind of different feel from the shot. So now again here you can see I've used that one light to illuminate myself and the background is slightly illuminating different colored. Again I'm going for the dark theme depending on how bright or low you put the light you can adjust that. I'm giving you a few options here so you can kind of get the best from it. And um, so I think that's giving you an option. Okay so there you can see that's a quick before and after kind of shot there and that was reasonably the dark theme. But now I'm going to show you the action camera that I'm using as a webcam and what you can do with it. So first of all, with normal natural colors, it doesn't look excellent, but you'll be surprised. As I turn a light on, it gives you that extra little bit of a punch and it makes it look interesting. That's one light on my one side. And that was a slightly blue tinge to that color temperatures, if you're familiar with. And that's putting in an orange temperature, which doesn't look great at all. So find the right balance for your skin tone. And then if you have two lights, like I did show you in the example, here's another one. I'm going to put it on and now you'll see how it allows you to pop away from the background. So if you compare this same camera from the start to now, it looks a lot better, to be honest. I'm quite impressed with how well it did. This one is the action camera A87. It does it at 1080p video. And yeah, so it's like a good angle on it. I had to crop it in OBS to give it not so wide view because the view can be wide. So yep, yeah, that's another look. I've given you two examples there and the other camera I didn't show you really because the A77 was a 1280 by 720p and didn't perform excellently. You've got two lights, you've got a webcam, find a good spot, position everything and you can actually achieve decent quality. You can go from this to this. So you can see there's a big change, same camera. To support this video, I've got a link in the description to my mailing list. Make sure to sign up to that and you'll get an instant email with help sheets, guides and frequently asked questions which will help you get through this journey.